Hey guys, welcome to this gear talk video. My name is Brian Matias and what I want to talk to you today about is the camera bag. Now, camera bags, it's like the holy grail. Everyone's always kind of trying to find that perfect one. And the thing is, what I found in my years shooting is that there is no one perfect bag overall. There's perfect bags for situations for specific types of shooting. For me though, I want to talk about outdoor photography, outdoor shooting, kind of adventure style photography. And in that respect, uh, for me, the best bag that I've used so far is made by Shimoda. Now, Shimoda is a company, they started on Kickstarter and launched uh, two primary bags. They've got the Explore 40 and the Explore 60. And while I love the Explore 60 for long haul trips, the bag that I want to talk to you about is the Explore 40. And specifically, I want to tell you my five favorite things about this bag and why I think for me, it's the perfect kind of outdoor bag. Now, before we kick things off, I just have a few things that I want to bring up. First, I'm a member of Shimoda's Pro Team, and I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, they provided me with an Explore 40 and an Explore 60 as being a part of the program, but I was not paid a single penny to record this video. I'm doing it because I genuinely love the bag, and I want to share that with you. Now, this bag and Shimoda in general, uh, they build their bags specifically for kind of the outdoor adventure photographer. And that's that's great and it's ideal for that. But I want you to know also that I've used it. It's been just as comfortable on my back in dense urban environments as it has been uh, on the beach at the coast, as well as standing on a frozen lake. So uh, you can use this bag in a variety of situations, uh, but just know that, yes, this is specifically, you know, geared for the outdoor photographer. So with that, let's kick things off with my five reasons why I love the Shimoda Explorer 40. Reason number one is the harness. Now the harness is that's the where you have your straps, your shoulder straps, and the way your camera bag sits on your shoulders and your back. It doesn't really get talked about a lot. And the reason for that is typically the straps on a camera bag are attached on and that's it. You can adjust kind of the length or the tightness, but that's about it. With Shimoda, they actually give you the option to adjust the height of that harness. So if you prefer the bag to straddle you a little bit higher on your shoulders and back, you can adjust it. Uh, and it's just one of those things that for me, that kind of attention to detail, I don't recall seeing that on any other adventure bag and having that flexibility to really refine how your bag sits on your shoulders is a big thing because if you don't have your bag sitting on your shoulders properly, it's gonna rest a little too low, hit kind of the top of your hips and you're gonna be very uncomfortable and have a lot of pain and stress from carrying your bag. So uh, kudos to them for that. Reason two is how you access your gear from your bag, which is arguably the most important thing about any camera bag, right? For me, the deal breaker for any camera bag is if you have to take it off to get to your gear, meaning the, the gear is accessed through the front of the bag. That's a deal breaker, no go. And so the option you're typically left with is accessing it through the back. With the Explore 40 and 60, you can access it through the back or the side, so you have an option there, but I always access it from the back. When I'm standing kind of in the middle of a brook and there's water or if I'm standing in sand, the last thing I really want to do is put my bag down to change out a lens. So with the belt system, I could just rotate the bag around my hips lay it down and then access it. Now here's where Shimoda really changes things up. With every other bag that I've used that opens from the back, that back flap kind of opens up at you. And so you're kind of, I'm always trying to use my, my chin to hold that flap from falling back down and it's really annoying. And that's where Shimoda really changes things up because this is the first time I've seen a bag that opens from the back where it the panel opens to the side, so it's completely out of your way. And to me, that is absolutely brilliant. I don't have to worry about that flap. It can kind of hang off to the side. I can access my gear, close it back up, and then get back to shooting, which is my primary intent. Reason number three is how I actually store my gear inside the bag. I just talked about how much I love being able to take the flap, opening it to the side to access the gear. Now with the Shimoda system, the Explore 40 and 60 use these core units. There's a medium and a small. And I love it because these are completely expandable. You can customize them uh, to meet whatever you need in terms of gear. Now I use a medium core unit by default. Uh, it's able to hold a, a camera with a lens attached or a secondary body as well as a large telephoto zoom lens and a variety of other primes and zoom lenses. What's even cooler is that in the Explore 40, there's enough space if I want to add a, another small core unit right above it, 
which is perfect. It fits my drone gear absolutely perfectly. I'm able to put my Mavic Pro along with my accessory pouch and the controller right in that spot. If I don't want that, or if I don't need to bring my drone, that just gives me even more space to put, you know, a jacket or any other supplies that I might need on my trip. And moving on to reason four, that has to do with my tripod, which I've said many times, arguably is the most important accessory next to my camera and lens. Now, most every camera bag has the ability to store a tripod with some sort of straps. But the reason why I especially love what Shimoda did was they have this pouch, a rather sizable pouch that can be pulled out of the side of the bag Normally it's hidden behind a zipper door uh, and you could use this pouch for anything. I use it for my tripod and the reason why I like that is because I prefer not having the feet of my tripod dangling out. Uh, just, you know, it can get caught on something, but also very often I'm shooting where my tripod feet are in mud or sand and I'd rather just have it kind of catch into that pouch bag, which I can remove after and clean out. Uh, so that way I don't have to drag around any of that dirt. Uh, it cinches clothes really nicely and it holds uh, my big really right stuff and my little really right stuff tripods perfectly. And reason five for why I love the Shimoda Explore 40 bag, speaking of kind of pouches, there are a lot of very thoughtful little hidden pouches throughout the bag and this shows that it was designed by a photographer with a photographer's needs in mind and that's why i really do enjoy this bag on the waist belt there are little hidden pouches where i can store a battery or a microfiber cloth which comes in very handy when i'm standing in the middle of some water and i don't want to move my bag around uh, also on the arm straps there is a pocket that holds my phone as well as any other supplies and it also supports uh, passing through if you use any sort of a water bladder it'll pass through that the water tube so you can keep drinking without that hose dangling around and so those are just kind of five reasons I just stuck with five because it's a nice round number but there are plenty of reasons why I absolutely love my Shimoda bags uh, like I said the Explore 40 is ideal for like a day to two day trip if you're going on a longer trip and you really want to consolidate into one bag, the Explore 60 is a wonderful option as well. And you really can't go wrong with these bags. I'll leave uh, links to the products for the bags and the accessories down below. If you've got any questions about the bags, feel free to leave them in the comments. And of course, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video, subscribe if you love it, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks everyone.